Did you know that you could make thousands of dollars every month from selling word search books over on Amazon KDP? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make them for yourself. In this video, we're gonna be using my favorite tool for creating puzzle books, and that is BookBolt. BookBolt features a ton of incredible Amazon KDP research tools, but today we're gonna to be using it to create our very own word search books. So before we get going, I'm just gonna show you what is possible over on Amazon KDP from selling word search books. So if we go over to the best sellers in word games on amazon.com, you can see these books here. And what we can do is we can find one of these best selling books, see what it's doing, and we can also estimate how much money it's making per month. So here in the top 10 on word games, you've got a few word search books here at the top, but this one stands out to me, this cozy autumn word search for adults. It's not spiral bound, so it was self-published through Amazon. It's not got amazing ratings, but it's still number seven in bestsellers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a quick look at that and see how much money it's making. So this was published in July this year, so it was only published a little over a month ago. And if we scroll down to the bestseller rank, we can see that it's currently number 1,194 in all books on Amazon.com. So that is selling incredibly well. And if we use a book sales calculator tool, we can estimate how much money that's making per month. So if we put the bestseller rank here, which is 1194, it's getting an estimated 129 sales a day, or almost 4,000 sales a month, which is absolutely incredible. And if we add this royalty calculator here and enter the information, we can see how much money estimated it's making. So this one single word search book that someone released a little over a month ago, is currently making them an estimated $23,600 a month. And whilst it may not go on to make that for the rest of the year because it's an autumn themed word search book, it just shows you what's possible and the demand of these word search books. Now, just to mention that that's estimated income and it doesn't include things like advertising, marketing costs, those kind of things. But I just wanted to share with you what's possible if you created a word search book that sells and takes off over on Amazon KDP. And now we've had a little look and example, let's get into actually making our very own. So to get going, you need a Book Bolt account. If you don't have one yet, you can click the link in the description below and you can check it out on a three day free trial. Or if you want to purchase it, click the link in the description below as well, add it to cart, and then make sure you use the code self publishing empire, all one word, and that's gonna get you 20% off for life. That's our exclusive code here over on Self Publishing Empire. So make sure you use that code, Self Publishing Empire, all one word, all lowercase, if you check out BookBolt for yourself. So going over to BookBolt and logging in, you have this research section where you can do things like scout other books, do keyword research, look into KDP categories, and they also have an internet plugin called KDP Spy as well. So you can do a lot of amazing research things on here, but to create our word search book, we're gonna click the create, and we're gonna to go to Book Bolt Studio. So in here, the first thing you need to do is you need to know what size your book's gonna be. Now generally, word search books tend to either be large print, or they tend to be a little bit smaller. So for your large print books, the standard seems to be 8.5 by 11 inches. And then for your smaller books, they tend to be around six by nine inches. So your bigger books are gonna be kind of like this, maybe a bit more like A4 size for my Brits out there. And then your smaller books are gonna be a bit more like notepad size. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new project. And then you can either just create your interior or what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a cover and interior because I'm also gonna show you how you can make your cover directly in BookBolt as well. So we're gonna click cover and interior we're gonna create a winter word search book because that autumn word search book is doing really well. And then we can select these inbuilt sizes on Amazon KDP. So you've got the 8.5 by 11 inch, you've got the six by nine, and then you've got all the other standard sizes, or you can also enter a custom size. But for this book, we're gonna do a six by nine inch book. Now, if you're doing black and white, you wanna be doing black and white with white paper or you can also do a standard color option or a premium color option. So unless you're gonna print it in color for this, you wanna do black and white interior with white pages. You can also do bleed and no bleed. So if you wanna do edge to edge printing on Amazon, you would select bleed, otherwise you select no bleed. Then next you wanna select your page count. 
So with these word search books, you wanna be looking at what other people are doing and making sure you're offering at least what they're doing. So if we go back to that cozy autumn word search book, you can see there there's 105 pages and it's got 3000 words in it. So from my experience of looking around on word search books, I think 2000 words tends to be the minimum required for it to sell quite well. So let's start with that for this document. So what we would do here is, let's say we wanna do 2000 words and we're gonna do 20 words per word search. That means we need 100 puzzles. So what you do here is you would want 100 pages for your puzzles. You'd probably want an intro page, which would take it to 101. And then you'd want to add your solutions at the back of the book as well. So let's say you added six solutions per page. All you do is 100 divided by six, which means you need 17 pages at the back of the book. So we could add another 17 there, which would take it to 118. And then you could also add additional information if you wanted at the back of the book, like trying to get people to review your book, sharing QR codes to your author page, those kind of things. So let's say 120 pages. So here BookBolt's created your manuscript and you can see here on the front and back cover, it's got the trim size, it's got the safety areas, it's got the back, the front and the spine. But to begin with, we're gonna create our word search book. Now to get onto the puzzle pages, you select this little maze here, and that's gonna give you all of your different templates that BookBolt has included. So you've got things here like ruled journals, graph paper, but then when you scroll down, you've got loads of different puzzle templates. So you've got things like word scrambles, missing vowels, cryptograms, crosswords, sudokus, word searches. They've even got different types of mazes, and then BookBolt also has a load of pre-made journal and organizer templates as well. So you've got things like body measurement tracker, weekly planners, recipes, comic book interiors. There's loads of amazing pre-mades within here. But for this video, we are obviously gonna be focusing on the word searches. So if we just search here for word, you can see here there's two different options. So you've got the word search standard, and what that lets you do is it lets you do kind of almost like a basic word search. So if you just want a basic word search book, that's the one for you. But we're gonna use this word search custom option. That's gonna allow us to set the width and the height of the word search. And you can also even use masks if you want to, to do custom shapes, which is quite a cool thing to do as well. So if we click word search custom, you need to select what pages your word searches are gonna appear on. So if page one is an intro page, we wanna start at page two, and then we would select the from and to. So we select from page two to page 101. That's gonna give us 100 word search pages. Now for this example, as I'm doing a complete step-by-step -step guide, I've just created 20 to take you through. So I'm just gonna change that to 21 for now. So I've selected my 20 pages here, and I'm gonna click continue to options. Now here are all of your options when it comes to the word search. So you can select the amount of words per puzzle and that goes up to 40. So we're gonna do 20 words per puzzle. You've got some strategy information here like more intersections, less intersections to make it a little bit easier. You can select whether it includes diagonal words and reverse words. And I like to tick this option here, which is don't allow the grid size to change. That means that the grid is gonna remain the same size throughout the book, which I think is good in terms of continuity throughout the book. So here you select how big you want your board to be. As I mentioned, you can also upload a mask if you want to do different shapes. So if you did that and you wanted different shapes on every page, you just do one puzzle at a time. But this way we can do all 20 or all 100 in one go. So I'm gonna leave that blank for now, but you could always do a mask if you wanted. And then you choose the amount of rows and columns you want. So I quite like the idea of making it quite complicated and there being enough space to make it a little bit difficult. But as you can see here, this can you know, go absolutely massive. So if you wanted, you could have a 40 by 40 grid for something incredibly hard, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do 22 rows by 20 columns. Seeing as it's a six by nine inch book, that just makes it a little bit more vertical, so there's not too much wasted space on the page. So I quite like that size. And then we go down to the options. So down here you can select how many puzzles you want per page. 
since we're doing a notebookish size, we probably only want one puzzle per page. We can click full page, we can set the alignment, the fonts, the size of the text, all those kind of things. But I'm just gonna leave that as the standard for now. We can select a border if we want a border on there. We can select the cell color, all those kind of things. And then we come down to the clues. So these are the words that people are gonna find. So you can do them in lines, you can not include any clues if you wanna make it even harder, or you can add columns, which is my go-to. So seeing as we've got 20 words, if we do four columns, they're gonna be five words per column, which I quite like. You can sort them by short to long, long to short, you can align them, and you can set the text size as well. So I'm gonna do default text size, I'll have them all uppercase, and then we can come onto the solutions. So you select where the solutions go. You can select how many per page. So we're gonna do four per page because it's a six by nine inch book. So you need to at least allow people to be able to you know, read the solutions. And then you've got loads of settings here that you can fill in. You can select how the solutions are displayed. So I quite like the rounded rectangle outline. That means that the words are gonna be outlined with a rounded rectangle, which looks quite nice. You can select the width of the highlighter. I'm gonna do two pixels here. You can do a border again, and you can select the letter case. You know, there's loads of customizability options here. I also like to not include any clues just because it takes up space here, and because they're a bit smaller, you won't really be able to read them. So I'll click no clues, and then you can select your titles. So you can use the first line as a title. You can select a custom title. I could just have it winter word search and then puzzle number. So then if I set it up like this, each word search would be winter word search, puzzle one, puzzle two, puzzle three, puzzle four, etc. But I'm not gonna include a title because I wanna include my own custom title here. And then all you need to do is upload your word search sheet. And if you don't really know what that's gonna look like, don't worry because you can download an example file and that's gonna tell you how you need to set your file up. And so this is my Christmas word search file. So as you can see here, I've got the topic down the left-hand side. We're gonna delete that in a minute, but that's just so that I know which word search these belong to. And then you've got your clues down here on the right. So in terms of setting this up correctly, for the word search, you just need one row only, and you need your words listed like this. So seeing as we've got 20 words per clue, we need to do 20 words per puzzle, and then you just add a space in below it. And then the same again, 20 words and then a space, 20 words, then a space. So when you've got that ready, you download it as a CSV file. So I just use Google Sheets, but you could use Excel. And then you upload that here and then you can click preview. So that preview setting is just gonna make sure that it's displaying correctly, that you've got it set up in the right way. This looks absolutely fine. And just a reminder that you're limited to 20 characters per clue. So you can't include any words or phrases that are over 20 characters long, but you can include things with spaces. So for example, one of my clues here is jingle all the way. That's less than 20 characters and that's absolutely fine. So once you've uploaded that, you can click preview and that's gonna show you what the puzzle page looks like and also what the solution page looks like. So this looks quite good to me, but I'm gonna tinker with it a little bit more. I think I'm gonna make the clues a little bit smaller as they look a little bit big, and I'm gonna make the borders thicker on the solutions as well. There we go, that looks loads better to me. So the clues are a bit smaller, which reads a little bit better, the similar sizes to the puzzle itself. And then the solutions, they look a little bit more premium there. I like the rounded ellipse. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. So if you're happy, all you need to do is click Continue to Solution Pages. And that will allow you to select where your solutions go. So you can select from two here, but I know that they need to go on five pages. So I'm gonna select those five pages there and click Submit. And then BookBot's gonna work its magic and it's gonna insert these templates, create your word searches and your solutions for you. And before you know it, you're gonna have a manuscript ready to upload to Amazon KDP. So that literally took five seconds and we've got our 20 word searches here. But what you probably wanna do is polish them up a little bit. I, for example, I'm gonna add a title on all of these pages 
And in order to do that, all we would do is click this text button and we're going to add a heading. We can select our font up here, our size. So let's make it a little bit bigger. And then if you want to add a title for all of your puzzle pages, you just need to repeat that across all of your pages. So there we go. So on page one, we've got Christmas decorations and then there's your 20 decorations to find. Page two, you've got your Christmas foods with 20 different foods to find and so on. Then if you scroll down, you've got your 20 word search pages here. And then this is what the solution pages look like. So you might wanna add number one, number two, number three, number four on here, or you can even do that in your settings if you want to. So now we have our word search book. As I mentioned, if you were creating these, you might wanna try and increase the amount of words. I've just done 20 word searches as an example, but I think if I was wanting to create something that actually sold over on Amazon, like I'm gonna do for this winter word search book, I'd probably create maybe 100 puzzles and I would have 20 to 30 words in each of them. That will allow me to advertise it as 2,000 words, 3,000 words, etc. But now you've got your word searches done. All we need to do is create our little intro page. So you can select your font. So you would want to enter a nice little introduction here, maybe explain how the word search has worked. If you have a company logo as well, you can upload that here. And that would be our intro page. Then we go to the cover. So if you're not very good with graphic design, you might wanna outsource this to a professional designer, but I'm gonna show you how I would create a cover using BookBot. So to begin with, we're just gonna click this button and we're gonna hide the cover template. It's really useful to just be able to toggle that on and off, but I'm just gonna to toggle it off for now. We do have these grid lines in here as well. We're gonna set a nice wintry color for the background. And then what I like to do is I like to use one of my word searches. So I'm gonna create a, another custom word search. I'm gonna place it on the front cover. I'm gonna select a white cell count. I'm gonna do a slightly thicker border and then we're gonna click submit. So here's just a very basic example of what your front cover could look like. All I've done here is I've used a background. I've added a title, a subtitle, but if you were designing this for yourself, you'd wanna take a little bit more time and effort and then also fill in the back cover as well. But once you're happy with your front cover and your word search book, all you then do is go to download and then you can download it either as a CMYK, which is for printed books or for RGB, which is for eBooks. So for this one, we would download it as a CMYK and then you're gonna get two files. You're gonna get your manuscript and your cover. And those are ready to upload directly to Amazon KDP. So with BookBolt, you don't need any other software. You can generate your word searches, you can add titles, you can even create your cover if you want to as well. So if you're interested in making word search books and selling them over on Amazon, it's never been easier. All you need to do is research an area for your book, prepare the words, upload them to BookBolt, make sure you're happy with how it looks, create those word searches, and then publish it to Amazon KDP. As I mentioned, check the link down in the description below for a three day free trial and make sure to use code self publishing empire at checkout for 20% off BookBolt for life. Thanks for checking out the video. If you've got any questions about BookBolt and making word search books, drop them down in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.